I'm always curious about the sequel to Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle, what's her name? I'm Liza. not sure what, what happened yeah. to her, but uh, <laughs> uh, I was curious, were they throwing a lot of money at you and John Travolta to do a sequel, and how close did you come to appearing in the, the follow-up? I guess they didn't throw enough, because <laughs> we weren't in it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We started talking to them about the movie. We had a meeting with them, I even remember it. Then we never heard from them again, or agents, and they, they fell out, I guess. I don't know what happened next. We know right. they'd made the new one okay. without us. Right. How close did you get to getting uh, Travolta and Olivia Newton-John to come back for the sequel? I mean, was that the original game plan? Um, yes. Uh, but Paramount had a, uh, a, a one picture left on his three-picture deal, and they didn't want to waste it on Greece. They thought the picture was strong enough, because it does such phenomenal business, that we didn't need them. And I said, this is a big mistake. I don't want to do this, but I was contractually you know, signed to do the sequel. So um, then at one point, they were going to do, um, which they agreed to do. I don't know why it fell apart. Um, a closing number at the end of the picture. For the second one. For the second okay. one. And I don't know if it was money or timing or whatever it was, it didn't happen. There were plenty of discussions with them about that. And uh, you see what happens that if you don't have perfect casting, I mean, first of all, you shouldn't touch a classic with other people. Michelle was fabulous. And I found this new actor who auditioned in my living room, sang, danced and went to the studio, met the director and one of the executives and said, oh, he's too short to be in the movies or to be a movie star, Tom Cruise. So that's little life's little adventures. So it could have been Tom Cruise and Michelle Pfeiffer, which is what I wanted. Really? But I got the vote only half. I got the vote on her and so I didn't, they overruled and put this person in who had no chemistry either by himself or with Michelle, and um, it didn't work. When you think back of learning experiences where it taught you about the business, Grease 2, was that, would you say that was a significant learning experience for you, that film? Since it was like a follow-up to like a very successful film, mm -hmm. do you feel like a lot of pressure with that movie? I did. Yeah, I guess the one thing that I learned through that film was not to buy into the hype of things. But I sort of knew that going into it. I don't know how, but I did. You know, Chris, a major milestone for every actor is getting the Screen Actors Guild card. <laughs> uh, what, <laughs> yes. uh, what job got you that? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, Grease 2 is actually my first movie. Yeah. Now, how big a thrill? I mean, that was a follow up to the John Travolta, Olivia Newton John movie. Michelle Pfeiffer is one of her first films. Yes. Uh, how jazzed were you doing that film? Uh, pinch me every time I had, uh, I, I was in heaven because I was a big fan of the first movie. Yeah. And uh, I, I, it took five auditions for me to get this part. And uh, I wasn't even going for that part. I was going for Johnny Nagarelli, but you can't wash the Irish off my face. So <laughs> I didn't get the part. And an Italian guy, Adrian Zmed, actually, he's. Uh, well, he's T.J. Hooker, <laughs> European looking, yeah. T.J. Hooker, right? He uh, he got the part, and and then they, I went home in, in the biggest funk and the biggest depression of my young career, and I said, "This is it. Hollywood's beating me up." And then the phone rang. Pat Birch called the director and said, "Would you come in? And uh, we loved you. It's not working out. As of course, it's not really, but come in as as, as Goose." And uh, I had nothing to lose, so I just was cut it loose then, and it was uh, it, it was great. I got the part, and never so happy in my whole <laughs> life. It was just amazing. They paid us to ride motorcycles, you know, and stuff. It was like, okay. <laughs>